Hello, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 4th, 2020. Well, today, Nancy Pelosi held a press conference, and she was talking about the government funding bill as well as stimulus. But when reporters asked her about how, how that she viewed the new $908 billion as a basis for negotiations compared to the Common Ground, March Common Grounds Act that was proposed by Problem Solvers Caucus, she got a bit testy. In fact, I have a few clips of you to watch of her getting a bit testy with the reporters, so I should be right back. Good morning, thank you. So, uh, just to be clear, you said no continuing resolution. I don't want any coming. Right, I understand that, but if, if you are on the precipice of getting a coronavirus deal, you know, and you can't, if you are oh, on the precipice... will be on before that. Oh, oh, okay. But, but what shifted, in your opinion, when the Problem Solvers Caucus had a much larger bill a few months ago, you did not like that piece of legislation? Yeah. What, 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 what has shifted now when they're on board with this piece that's come out of the stuff? Perhaps you missed what I said earlier. Joe Biden committed to ending and crushing the virus and having a Build a Better America initiative, Big a Back Better, a vaccine answer to our prayers an answer to our prayers of 95 percent effectiveness in terms of pfizer and moderna and there may be others uh coming forward and that makes that is a total game changer a new president and a vaccine so th there's nothing to th these are different what what was then before was not more of this this is, has simplicity. It's what we've had in our bills. It's for a shorter period of time, but that's okay now because we have a new president, a president who recognizes that we need to depend on science to stop the virus, a president who understands that America's working families need to have money in their pockets in a way that takes them into the future without any of the contraptions of any of the other bills uh, that the administration was associating itself with in the board. We feel very excited about the prospect that the there's a bipartisan bill, because I told members, I'm not bringing any more bills that are not bipartisan. We wanted to, to, to um, show what needs to be done in the interest of negotiation. They're negotiating, it's a good product, it's not everything we want. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't want the Republicans to think that we, uh, that this is a dream come true. It is not. You have to accept half of a loaf months ago. When you said, I'm not going to accept half a loaf. No, I'm going to tell you something. Now, don't, don't characterize what we did before as a mistake, as a preface to your question, if you want an answer. That was not a mistake. It was a decision. And it has taken us to a place where we can do the right thing without other, shall we say, considerations in the legislation that we don't want. Now, that is it. Now, th the fact is, I'm very proud of where we are. My chairs, my chairs have worked very hard on all of this. They were not even happy with a, a proposal that we made the other day before we saw this proposal. They thought we had come back to too small. So it's not about an individual, it's about how we address the needs of the American people. And we have to do it in a scientific way, and we have to do it in a way that recognizes people need food on the table. They need to get their rent paid. They need money in their pockets. They need their unemployment insurance to be there. They do not need a whole cacophony of other things that are on the agenda that have nothing to do with meeting their needs. So we're very pleased at where it is. And as I say, with a Democratic president committed to a scientific solution for this, with the idea that we will have a vaccine, it's a complete game changer from them. Sir? I just want to get a clarification as it relates to your conversations with, with uh, Leader McConnell. Yes. So is this now a situation where we're expecting a, an omnibus and any sort of coronavirus relief to be matched into one piece of legislation? That would be our hope. One vote. That would be our hope because that is the vehicle leading, leaving the station. And that's probably, uh, I was pleased that he wanted to, 
to do it that way because that's how we had I thought would that's what we thought would be the best way to do the vehicles leaving the station all in other words you see a bill come to the floor you don't see the whole underpinnings and the orchestration of what it takes to get to a place so if there's a vehicle and we can add uh, this language once we see the text uh, that is what we would be doing an agreement on both components to bring something to the floor. Oh yeah, 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 and that's what we're that's what we're working on. Yes, and, and because we would want a big strong vote. And also, Nancy Pelosi dropped a bombshell. She basically said that her she uh, she and Mitch McConnell want to basically piggyback the stimulus package on the government funding bill. And as you guys, if you guys have been paying attention, uh, basically both of them were opposed to doing this earlier this year, and now they're both willing to actually want to piggyback it on there. And I think the reason being is because they want to go on their vacations and not have to worry about the people. And this new, so far, the, the new $908 billion stimulus proposal offered up by the Democrats, Republicans in the Senate, that's not Mitch McConnell, does not include stimulus checks, and its supercharged unemployment is not really supercharged at all. If you stick with me, I will give you a little overview of what, what it includes in it, which isn't a whole lot, but hopefully it will give you a bit more understanding. And let's see here. But basically, this is actually huge for Democrats to uh, stoop to accepting $908 billion as a starting point for adding more to offer. I mean, I never really thought that they would jump from $2.2 trillion down to $908 billion and not include stimulus checks and basically only give uh, a, a unemployment to those who are on it when it's a proven fact that there are probably at least half the people that aren't on it don't get it because they don't qualify for it. So giving supercharged unemployment and no stimulus checks don't help no one except for the unemployed because like I said there's a lot of people that aren't on unemployment because they don't qualify for it for, for one reason or another and so they're not counted as receiving anything but Trump says that he will sign a relief, a relief bill if one is presented to him before the end of the year and that he believes the politicians are close to a deal plus he told the reporters that a deal would be reached before December 11th, which is the deadline for the government funding bill. Ooh, wow. They want to put a proposal forward before or on December 11th, which is the deadline for the government funding bill. Which sort of gives you an idea that they want to get this done so they can piggyback it on there so they can pass it, even if it sucks for the American people. And basically, so they can go on their vacation and not worry about us like they've been doing almost every single month gone on vacation with me for a week or two or more. Trump says that he is disappointed in Attorney General Barr because he said that, because Barr basically said that he could not find no evidence of mass voter fraud to support any of Donald Trump's claims. The U.S. surpassed 14 million COVID cases and we continue to break record highs. I, I, I will put a graph of... Um, at the end of showing you what our current cases are, new cases, deaths, and so on. So you guys can see what I'm talking about, but trust me, it's not pretty. Um, currently, there are three proposals on the table. We have uh, Mitch McConnell's $500 billion. I don't even know what to call it anymore. I don't know if he has a name anymore. But it was called the Heels Act, and it was only for $500 billion. Then we have this new bill out there, which is $908 billion that Nancy Pelosi is excited about because she says it's a starting point for, for uh, stimulus negotiations. And then there's also the original um, Nancy Pelosi's Abridged Heroes Act for $2.2 trillion. Those are the three current bills that are still on the table. Let's see what, what they actually do with the $908 billion one because Nancy Pelosi seems to be very excited about that. She wants to make additions to it. So... And yet, we don't see no them talking any big thing about adding stimulus checks to that. That actually really help out a lot of Americans that could use it that don't get unemployment. 
Republican senators are basically stepping up and they told Mitch McConnell that he needs to spend more money on the stimulus package. Well, on the other hand, we have the Democrats in the House of Representatives that are stepping up to Nancy Pelosi and saying that she needs to spend less on the stimulus package. So we have Republicans saying more, Democrats saying less. And the clips in the very beginning actually might help explain that. So hopefully that does, because otherwise I'm at a loss. And basically, um, like I said, I mean, I do have a clip, uh, not clip, but um, I'm going to put a graph up here in the my corner to show you exactly how many uh, new cases, fatalities, and any recoveries there are that were here uh, yesterday, which have been Thursday. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful Friday. Try to have an excellent weekend. And to my all my subscribers and all my followers and anyone else who views this video, please stay safe out there. And remember, we're, we're in this together because we currently do not have politicians that actually want to care and pass anything to help us out. Until next time, please be safe, and I'll join you again next time I broadcast.